Hi everyone, welcome back to Dev.doge Academy and welcome back to Introduction to Programming using Java. And now we are going to do something that's going to make our life pretty easy when developing with Java. That is installing what we call IDE, Integrated Development Environment. So basically, we want to focus on creating software. We want to focus on the business logic. We want to focus on the program. In the end, we want to become software developers. We want to be rich. So we need something that will take uh, the things that should be repetitive out of our way. Basically, we don't want to keep compiling. We just want to execute. We want to get like feedback about errors as soon as possible. So this is the purposes of the IDs. So we have several types of IDs. Uh, for example, for Java, we have like Eclipse, we have IntelliJ, we have NetBeans, uh, we have, uh, for example, Visual Studio Code. But in my opinion, IntelliJ is one of the best. So we are going to download the IntelliJ now. IntelliJ, just search for it. And now we are going to click on download. We have two different options, automate and we have community and we have different operating systems available. In our case, since we're just going to use plain Java, we don't need automate. If you are going to use what we call frameworks or you are going to use different languages, you should maybe consider this one or a free version of another version of IDE. If you are uh, with DevToJo, you can use the coupon described in the description of this code that will give you instead of 30 days it will give you three months just download the community this is enough for this course and you save it it's pretty big download so i'm going to pause the video and once the download is finished i will come back okay now that the download is finished let's install you can just double click or make easy already Double clicked. Now just go over next. It's going to ask you where do you want to install. I will keep the same place. It's going to ask if you want to create desktop shortcut or add path variable. In this case, I don't want to do anything like that. I will just click next and then install. So the community version is going to be more than enough even if you are developing using some frameworks uh, sometimes it's, it's enough i know some people that are using community edition for four years but the ultimate version it will give you some better feedback sometimes you are developing with so many different technologies that sometimes integrating them becomes kind of a little bit of a nightmare so intellij makes that process easy telling you some problems that might happen uh, even before you spend some hours trying to figure out Okay, so this process may take a while. I think I'm going to pause the video. I'll be back once this is finished. Okay, so it finished successfully. I'm going to click here on Run IntelliJ. Click on Finish. I'm going to accept here. Continue. Okay, now I'm going to do some changes here. First, I'm going to check here some properties so if i go about add custom properties yeah i'm pretty sure that was supposed to be here oh since it's not here intellij light id font i will put 24 and then i can come back key map i will have windows and here we can install some nice plugins uh, for example there is this uh, rainbow bracket as you probably saw before, we have to open and close, and sometimes we have to open and close so many that we get lost, even though we have the code organized. So we can install this one. Uh, it will have like multiple colors. Uh, for example, it, if it opens yellow, it will close yellow. If it opens blue, it will end blue. Uh, there is a nice one as well as the, the Pokemon progress bar. So it will generate random Pokemons every time we we do something. Uh, we have one called presentation assistant. This one is for me. Every key shortcut I use here, you are going to see down uh, before I have to tell you. And if you want to learn shortcuts, that is this key promoter. 
So it's pretty interesting because as a developer, you have to do the task, same, the same task over and over again, and you don't want to use mouse. Uh, as one professor of mine said, good developers, they usually don't even have like a, a, a mouse. So you can do a lot of things just through shortcuts. And this, every time you do something clicking, it will tell you if there is a shortcut for that. So it's pretty good to, to install. And after I installed uh, everything, I will just restart the ID, restart now. And then we usually start with a project. As you saw before, I was just creating a random file somewhere in my computer. But usually when you are creating something, it's related to a project because you create software to solve a problem. And usually this problem will end up as a software unless it's just for something uh, pretty quick. We call this kind of scripts. So for example, let's say that you want to change the name of all your folders and have everything uppercase. So we write what we call script. You don't need a project for that. But in this case, we are going to create a project because we will have several classes so we just click here to create a project and you will get this window now we are going to just select the first one that's java and i'm going to click on next next it's going to ask you uh where you want to install in my case i will keep on idea projects but i'm going to change the the name a little bit i don't want to have this uh untitled i will change the name name it will be uh, introduction programming and then I'm going to click here on finish okay so this is the first contact that you have with your ID as you can see it's a lot of information so first thing every time you open your ID it will give you some tip of the day you can keep checking the tips this is going to improve your let's say your coding uh, in general because sometimes they give you shortcuts they give you some tips that's going to to make things faster so ideally you want to go through three or four per day or as much as you like in this case I would just close it here we have some information because of the plugins that we installed in my case here you don't have to do anything so if you want to customize but in my case i just want to have the default well, for me this is not closing so let me just uh okay now it's working we have this plugin called with me where you can share your code in real time with others we have this that we have to accept because some things are let's say technically not part of the the java specification yet so we just accept not well, not going to change remember that i said that they are releasing new features and if these features they are not uh, supposed to to be going to production they're going to remove that's why they just ask you to accept something like uh, okay you are aware of this now uh, let me see if I press out one we have here the project you can see down here that we have the shortcut available for you so you don't have to I will keep talking the the, the shortcut but you can also see whatever I'm doing here uh, I think there is an, an another plugin here let me see here uh, you can go to settings if you go to plugins there is a Mac OS key map that will also show the Mac OS shortcut. There you go. So we have this option now. Okay, so just going over the whole IntelliJ, as you can see here, the project, if you press Alt 1, is going to disappear. You're going to hide or, or show. This is your project structure. This is something generated by IntelliJ. This is your folder. If you right click here and open in and you have Explorer, it's going to tell you directly where it is. So in my case, it's available here. .idea and .yml are just files created for IntelliJ. And SRC is called source. So basically all your code will go into the source, but we are going to organize in folders, but in Java we call these folders packages. 
Then we have here external libraries. So basically, we are just telling, hey, we are using Java 17 in this project. In the future, when you are more experienced, you have send like hundreds or even thousands of libraries depending on the size of the project. Okay, so this is IntelliJ. We are not going to do anything so far. So what I'm going to do is close this. And in the next video, we are going to open IntelliJ again. And we are going to do this until we get used to it. So I see you in the next video. Bye-bye.